Right now, uh, management of any patient, it, it's, it's a multidisciplinary care. And I believe that hematopathologists, uh, as well as molecular pathologists, uh, uh, we have a lot to add uh, to the patient care. And uh, we recently had revisions um, made to the WHO classification, uh, which is the standard for uh, diagnosis and subclassification of all hematologic malignancies. A significant number of changes were made to MDS. One was specifically incorporation of SF3B1 mutation data into the sub categorization because SF3B1 mutated MDS in the absence of other pro prognostic mutations is a f has a favorable outcome. And now there are spliceosome modulators, uh, clinical trials available that could uh, help these patients. And uh, secondly, um, although not formally, um, uh, in formally mandated, it is recommended to do TP53 mutation in patients with MDS with uh, deletion 5Q. And so, so, uh, to accommodate all of these revisions, uh, our labs have to keep up with uh, the technology to assess for these mutations. Uh, for example, MDS with DEL5Q could have really low level TP53. So uh, we have now designed an NGS, a single gene NGS assay just for TP53 alone, spanning the entire codons that could identify really low levels of TP53 because patients with these mutations do not do well with their uh, therapy with lenalidomide. And the other things uh, that plays a role is um, the identification of clonal hematopoiesis in uh, some of the patients who present with or without cytopenias uh, in apparently healthy individuals. Uh, there is a last literature that is looking into this and, and right now we don't know what to do with these patients. And I think uh, large scale sequencing studies should continue to uh, get more information from this. And as pathologists, uh, uh, we, uh, we are now gaining uh, understanding on what data actually uh, helps predict which of these patients have benign clonal hematopoiesis versus those that actually progress to a heme malignancy. For example, uh, the number of gene mutations, the, the allelic burden of these gene mutations, the co-occurrence of mutations, the type of gene mutations, certain mutations like in the splicing factors tend to uh, progress higher than the rest. Um, so as pathologists, it's important to uh, provide a comprehensive uh, inf uh, information on all of these aspects to uh, help manage the patient. And at the same time, I do want to emphasize that uh, the morphology is, is even more critical than before because uh, the diagnosis of um, clonal hematopoiesis, um, the CHIP, so-called CHIP, is actually dependent on the absence of dysplastic changes that meet the criteria for MDS. And eventually for these patients, if you have to monitor them sequentially, uh, although there is no clear data on how frequently you monitor, it is important that these patients get concurrent uh, bone marrow biopsies and we evaluate the progression in the morphologic changes. And one final aspect I want to emphasize is uh, to uh, hep hematopathologists and molecular pathologists play a really important role in recognizing MDS and AML patients that can arise potential that could have arisen out of the germline predisposition syndromes. Uh, we know that the management is uh, it has great implications in management because the type of uh, MDS therapy that you want to give the, to these patients are completely different and these patients have to be quickly transplanted from a non-familial related donor and uh, one of the uh, studies that we have performed and recently published, we have identified that uh, a certain specific uh, clinical pathologic features that help predict which of these patients actually progress to heme malignancy, and that uh, includes the bone marrow features as well as the uh, mutational characteristics. And it's, uh, uh, it, 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 and we have identified patients where, uh, depending on the presence of a potentially germline alteration, we have gone back and perform germline analysis on these patients, and they've turned out to be. Uh, they've turned out. It turned out that the patient indeed had a predisposition syndrome.